Geet Milavosha. From the state's earliest beginnings, Scots have had a deep and abiding influence on the development of Queensland. In fact, John Dunmore Lang, born in Greenock near Glasgow, prominent clergyman, writer, politician and activist, pushed to establish the colony of Queensland and sponsored vessels of free settlers to Morton Bay. On the arrival of the Chase League from London with 209 immigrants, consigned to Mr John Richardson of Brisbane by the Reverend Dr Lang. Having made your Scottish-born immigrants managed many pastoral runs in early Queensland. They contributed to the exploration of Australia and helped select land for pastoral purposes. From Queensland's early beginnings, many Scottish-born families were prominent in the public service and in politics. Before 1900, nearly half of Queensland's premiers were of Scottish background. The contribution of Scots to Queensland's primary industries was also significant. Assisted immigration schemes resulted in many skilled Scottish immigrants establishing or working in agriculture-related industries. Lewis Hope, seventh son of the fourth Earl of Hopeton, was one of the first sugar pioneers in Queensland and was influential in the early days of this industry. In 1853, William Pettigrew from Ayrshire established Brisbane's first steam sawmill in William Street and later built Queensland's first steam locomotive. Andrew Petrie, born in Fife, became a prominent building contractor and architect. In 1842, with a small party, he was the first settler to discover the Mary River. Andrew Petrie's son, John, took over the family's construction business in 1848 and later won the contract to build the new Customs House and Parliament House. John Petrie was elected the first Mayor of Brisbane in 1859. Scottish-born Queensland architects were responsible for many of the state's landmark buildings and homes in Brisbane and throughout regional Queensland. Through their rich customs and heritage, Scottish migrants have had a strong influence on the educational and cultural life of colonial Queensland. Scottish migrants and the Presbyterian Church considered schooling to be vital to every community. From the founding of Queensland in 1859, Scots have held prominent positions in national and state education. Presbyterian and Scottish educational traditions also played an essential part in the development of Queensland's grammar schools and the University of Queensland. Scottish culture holds a distinct and enduring place in Queensland history and is commemorated in place names throughout the state. As the then Governor of Queensland, Quentin Bryce, said in 2006, Through migrant lives, old customs and unshakable convictions are interwoven with the textures of the new place. Memories of home, snatches of song heard in earliest youth, images of heathered hills and green-mouthed lochs are passed from generation to generation blended with other histories, interlaced with other colours and in an endless pattern of enrichment and exchange. To find out more about the Scottish influence in Queensland's history, go to the Queensland State Archives website or visit us at 435 Compton Road, Runcorn. <laughs>